Alright guys, guess where I am? Yes, I'm in one of those. One of those beautiful birds. It's only a training version. Plus it has this uh, second seat here. Okay, but mine, mine is a fighter jet version, see? And I have these blocks on the ladder, so we're gonna see how these things disappear from here in a moment. And we do the external inspection, we just enjoy it so much. Ah, nice photo. Just wanna fit it within one direction. Alright, so starting this outline is complicated and requires a little bit of a checklist. So first thing is parking brake after the you know. However, next thing is whatever says the checklist. Okay, and this is the checklist. So the checklist says engage parking brake. We did that. Remove the cover if you want, but oh, it's gone. Cover is gone. Wonderful. And perfect. We don't need this cover maybe. There's a dirt on this rubber. <laughs> Come on, I wanna take a finger and just clean it. No way. Why does it have to have dirt? Is there an option to clean this? I'm gonna clean it. It's dirty. It's why did you make it dirty? Oh my god. I cannot stand dirty surfaces like this. I want my cover back. Can I have it back? Oh, okay. Oh, I don't... S it's a shadow here. Okay. Oh my god, this is dirt as well. Why is it so... No, I cannot stand it. This, this aircraft is so dirty full of bacteria. Oh no. Battery switch on. There we go. Let's do that. Click. Okay, warning horn. Thing. Alternator and so on switches on. Master failure, yes, adjust the seat. Let's adjust the seat. Seat goes down. Okay. Next thing is can check on the outside. See the blocks here are removed. Um, yeah. Okay, next thing will be water. Next thing is oxygen test. So for oxygen test, we go and use this. But first, this is the neutral, the neutral or something. This is M here, so it's neutral. Next position. Okay, and next, po next position. Okay, it looks correct to me. So we reset it. Next we do probably this, right? If I'm correct. Yeah, J4. So this one is in the right position, so we can skip that. And next thing is close canopy seal valve. Not sure. Is this close? Okay, next thing is close canopy. You can see the shadow here in the canopy and down and seal it. And check this. Okay, all done. And I think the next thing Okay, and now we do the engine start. So the engine starts required to the following. This go to the left, this, 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 this. We wait for this BP to disappear. Okay. We open this, click this.
Okay, we wait until 2000 RPM. A little more throttle. Alright. Okay, we don't want to move forward. What's wrong with this brake? Brake. Okay. There we go. We're ready to continue our after engine start. So we did the engine start and now um, Okay, we need to do something here. Monitor RPM carefully, RPM between 300, idle. Moving the throttle to idle before engine, which is 300, may lead to engine fire. I think I have seen this before. With the cold engine, you can advance the throttle value slightly beyond idle to open the fuel metering valve a bit more. Engine speeds accelerates normally to 2000 within 15 seconds. Yes, we are at. As you can see, we are at some number of revolutions per second per minute. Let's leave it at 4000 for a moment. We don't need to burn all the fuel. This thing likes to burn fuel, you know. I can just look here and observe this thing, how it's like getting to the left side now. So maybe, maybe just reduce it. Because I have a feeling it it's so much fuel. Let's leave it at some reasonable RPM. Engine ignition occurs at about 1200 RPM. Jet pipe temperature. Okay. I see. 400 degrees in a jet pipe. Interesting. Should not exceed 700. Okay. As you have noticed, we haven't yet gone anywhere. We just keep starting this plane. Um, and imagine that uh, when I'm doing my lessons, I also have to do all this checklist. It's just I have so much less to do there. And I have to kind of do it faster. But this plane is complicated, so... The, the more I do it, the faster I do it. Once engine speed has stabilized around 29, we're on 29. So... Maybe I'll just look at this fuel. What happens if we just go to idle? Idle is perfect. Oh, look at this, 29. It looks perfect to me. So that's the idle, 29. But look where the fuel is. Just disappearing. This plane is just drinking fuel like crazy. Lights here on the thing should go to north. Okay. All of them are good now. And the uh, next thing we need is sec warning is extinguished. 13. Uh, yeah, there is no. no. Wow.
Oh. But it's not. Alternator. Oh, now it's gone. There's a button here. Inverter selected is reset. That's a button you need to press. I knew it. Did they don't mention it. Why don't they mention to press the button? No, it says set inverter. Sorry, it does. Okay. Confirm the calling. TR1 T lights remain illuminated. 14. Okay. Right, after start startup, so engine is started, it's providing electricity, we got set this thing. Okay, so everything makes some sense. Now radio. We're doing radio now. Set trap uh, VHF. Green radio mode selector. It's number one. Where is number one? So this one there. This one, and it has to be set to. select here. AR is closed I think. Hmm. I don't know. Set transmitter power switch power 5 watts and then set uh, silent squelch on. It's number 3. What do we have squelch? Silent. Ah, this one. I'm not sure of this. It's probably this way. What is this? It's a test. Doesn't work. Okay. Um, for set radio frequency selected as required. Okay, radio frequency. What's our frequency? Briefing. One, two, three, zero, zero, zero. There we go. Set channel number five. Number four. Oh, and the first time you can select this. Number four of this. But it's the uh, same as on four, so I think this is how it needs to be. Five frequency. Okay, we have frequency one, two, three. Is it one, two, three? Let's check this. One, two, three. Now, the next thing is... Set trap, UHF radio, red radio, mode selector, march on. Which is six. Uh -huh. So that's uh, something else. Okay, so M is not means on, uh, AR means off, and this is something else. Okay. Um, seven transmitter power switch, five watts. There we go. Uh, seal is on. Press the channel as required. 
is number nine somewhere. Let's see number. Ah, oh, here we go. This is a preset. Preset channel. Ah. Oh. And choose channel. Okay, channel number one. Right, next thing, flight control server setup. Press server reset button, which is number 10. Somewhere here. Oh, look at this. When pressed, uh, I press this button and some, some lights come off. Okay. The slides here can move, and that's all true. And this stay that way, I suppose. Ruder trim, control switch. Okay. Ruder trim. Trim. It doesn't do anything. What's next? Confirm a pitch uh, trim tabs are neutral. Oh. That's my trim. And now is this? This is not resetting it. Ah, reset. It doesn't want to reset. have a reset. Ah, I see. So, I have no idea how to make it neutral. I think the only way for me right now to make it neutral is It's neutral. It's really hard to say. Now, how much fuel do we have? Oh, we already reached the dot. So our flight will be only shorter and shorter. Burning a lot of fuel. Okay, uh, confirm switch. Okay, hydraulic pressure counter selector switch is 12. Servos. And that's on the somewhere here. Confirm it's on S the S on this way. Okay. See how many things you need to switch here? The switch switch. Set wing slots flaps deployed fully aft. I suppose that makes them fully deployed now. Yeah, this. Now, uh, high lift devices. Whatever that is, it's normal and it is number 14. And it's somewhere here. That's normal now. Combat flap rever. So whatever that is. Ah, it's combat flap. The button on the top will combat light flaps is extinguished. 
let's check this. I don't see uh, the light. I'm blind, maybe. Oh, I see. So this uh, this, this thing here, right? Okay. Correct. Yes. Okay. After setup, gyroscopic heading reference setup. We have a lot of setup. Set standby horizon seventeen. How do you? But will I be able to uh, fly this plane, or will it? Will all the fuel be gone before I finish? Um, 18 gyroscopic heading. Where is 18? Mysterious. Oh, here. I need to find something like this. Yeah, GM. Okay. 19 up. Full alignment of the heading and vertical refer system takes only one, two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. Anything? Some light. Okay, the light is here. Uh, the cup. The light extinguishes, fairly disappears on the spherical indicator. Oh, this indicator, it is fairly... Okay. And case the standby horizon by scrolling mouse on page note 21. Oh, okay, that worked here. Navigation systems. Set IDN 22. TE Electro pump switch twenty three. This one radar detector uh, twenty seven on twenty eight on twenty nine standby on this one. This one as well. And the other ones, this should be this way. Yeah. Air conditioning. Okay. Out. Auto. Aircraft controls. But I'm verifying this middle. Automatic pushed in. Anti skid up to 36. Nozzle steering 38. Suppose it's on 39. Push in. Okay. Countermeasure program selector. SDR. Okay. Both. Okay. Last interior checks. This is the last ones. Look at this. Okay, altimeter. And go this way. It's 131 feet. 130 feet. Something like this. Oh, this one is just okay. So that's a bit above seeming level. Now, the altitude will not be around ground level. If I set it to the airport QNH, it will be above this airport level. Different airport has different levels. So Let's make it this one zero. So this one is AGL and this one is MSL. Okay, so that's that's absolute altitude and this one is above this airstrip, which right now is zero. Okay, we need to set IFF, which is I think it's somewhere here, no? Oh I found you. I think this position is PV, is it? And then verify parachute brake. There is 
this forward, okay. External lights is required. No more warning lights on this panel. There is no more warning lights. Let's put our Top Gun glasses on because they look cool in them, and the screen is actually glaring. Okay, I think we're ready to go, and I'm gonna just reset it like this. We're gonna do this. ETC. Taxi to runway. Okay. Taxi, let's taxi. Taxi, let's go. Enough of this wasting fuel exercise. We already have not much fuel, so let's at least. Whoa! This, this is crazy. Okay, this, this HUD could be Strider. It's kind of annoying. I wonder if it will straighten up itself. I need to press some button. Okay. Now, oh, we should... Unable. So, I have to exit the runway. of course always full throttle because that's how I do it here okay. just wanna rocket into the space okay I don't need to go so crazy what do we do ah I don't wanna crash get up flaps up Okay, I don't want after Warner anymore. I don't know, do I want a full throttle? I will lose all my fuel if I do. I accomplished the mission, I have taken off. Just gonna do the radio. Uh, Sochi. Sochi, in the field. One, one. Request navigation assistance. Going in the right place. Okay. We are uh, at 7,000 feet. We've lost some altitude. We're going in the wrong way. At least we don't burn so much fuel anymore. <laughs> it's our airspeed, 300, not enough. We're falling. What throttle? No, no choice. This is a jet, not a glider, so we have to go faster. That's so true, yes. And then another thing like that. Okay, so. So this is Sochi, and hey, 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 what are we talking? I still have fuel, what's the story? Warning, what is the warning about? I said the ILS, uh, let's tell them we're inbound, this ship. Inbound. 
176, that's where I need to go. The pattern altitude. Ah, I see, okay. Everything is clear, okay. Now, we have a difficult thing to do. The airport is there. I'm landing on 11, so... It's supposed to be pattern. Okay. We're over the sea, it's very hard to see what we're doing. I can easily get into some stall. I don't want to stall in this plane. I really don't want to stall in this plane. Okay. It's shadows, it's scaring me. Okay, we need to do overhead the Astas. I don't fully understand. Because now we are ready to deploy the flaps and go. We're going too fast. Check landing gear is out here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we want flaps. Okay. Okay, we're very high. It's not great. Okay. <laughs> As for the first time in this plane, I'd say it was successful landing. <laughs> 